Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are looking at all the new mods that's dropped today on 6th of August 2024. As always, time starts for you down below and it's glad to be back doing videos now. I will be doing more videos regularly now, including mod reviews and map tours. But without further ado, what a day we've got for some mods out. So we've got a soil farm to look at, a irrigation spare system with a brand name that's most likely to get me to demonetize if I didn't pronounce it right. But first of all, we're going to be looking at an update, because it's got some, some new additions, and this is the New Holland C232 and L200 series. This is by Potcake, 9.65 megabytes download, change log 1.0.0.1, added L215 and L218, hence why the mod name has been changed to the plus L200 series and that. So, two of first slot counts and that, these are nine slots each. And yeah, without further ado, you'll find these under skid steers. So yeah, we've got the C232 that we're very familiar with. Basically, it's based on the C332 base game one. But yeah, if we go across, we've got the L218 and L215. 30 grand for the 18, and for the 15, it is 70 grand. Slightly heavier, the 81, obviously, in that. More speed in that, more horsepower in that. But yeah, so go under the L218, so interesting, we've got the ISM N844, 844T, 844LT, and then you've got your other new Holland engines and that. So yeah, it's all going to be just diff 6, up to 90, for wheel brands and all your other options that are also going to be exactly the same for the L250, so on the wheel brands we've got Trailborg standard, wide spec standards, Mitre standard, wide spec standard, Verschlein standards, wide standard, Nokians, Continentals, wide standard, BKTs, standard and wide. Oh, actually, uh, so looks like we've got some technical issues here. So, yeah, the Padro to missing, it's basically missing some XML. So, one, two, three items so but yeah this will need an update on a number of things so we have a look here so yeah l218 that is sticker there on the hydraulic arm we go to the 215 that's also got the 218 so that's gonna need an update but yeah besides from that also you got beacon lights yes and no so that's gonna be on the roof then work lights so you got your right front Left front, both fronts, both fronts and left rear, so we've gone to the roof, re rear right, and then got all the working lights. Main colour, so this is going to change your body, so that's going to change your body, so yeah, you've got obviously your normal New Holland pearly yellow. And on this, you've got a various of white, so that's your sand white, matte, polished, pearly, or light pearly. Matte, metal, long and polished. And then, yeah, same the grey, so yeah, different greys. You've got, and all the, even the different like, kind of blacks and that, so. Got a huge plethora of, yeah, three colours to choose from, or four including the standard one. But yeah, you also got a options for like, how you like it, so polished, just standard. Oh yeah, again, metal now have gone over. And then along with that, all you got your base game colour pads and that. Rim colours, same configurations, along with the standard mat, so we've got to change that. That'll change rims, obviously in that. So yeah, I'll go into the I think this is the no, this is the two fifteen and that. But yeah, even though it's a light version of the skizier you're used to in that. Still can do some tasks now, so you know got a bell grabbing that. Get rid of the help menu. Oh yeah, overall it's not too bad in that. No it picks up and go in that. Oh yeah, so if open the help menu up, drop that. Horn. Ignore the glitch just there, so let's move back a little bit. But yeah, all your normal controls in that. Lights. So yeah, it's gonna be your working lights and your rear tail lights. 
indicators left and right on the rear, obviously nothing on the front. But yeah, picks up and go quite and they could do the donuts and that. There you go, we're hopping to the 218, so this is gonna be the big one of the two. Same horn that. And yeah, once again, controls very well in that. And actually what, let's take the 215 to our test hill. Because yeah, I want to see how this performs on the hill, so in cab. Actually what, not to be fair, it ain't too bad in that. Not too bad at all, no clipping or anything like that. This is the light one, that's small one. And yeah, so, so far, yeah, first of all, we did have a little stumble there, getting up. But you know, it's making up this 45 degree incline. With no problems whatsoever in that. Yes, I know it's not got any items on it. If anything, I think with like, climbing that. Yeah, obviously with anything on the front, especially with the light one, is it? Also make it a little bit tippy toppy in that. But yeah, so it's made up to the top just fine, so we're at top speed. Yeah, can't even clear the twenty four yeah, can't even clear the little slope down to hit the twenty five meter mark. Rather disappointed in that. But anyway, so we'll head back over to here. There we go. And yeah, that is the update to the New Holland C232 and L200 series by Potcake. Now for the rest of our new mods for today. Next up we got the T-Winkle Eco-TOP. This is by Budowek Team. And it is 5.11 MB download. And essentially what this is, it's a 1.05 kilogram, well sorry, 1.05 tons and 1.45 ton weight. With some configurations that can cost you up to 320 bucks more than that. But yeah, anyway, so we go into our tools. And the weights, obviously, in that, go towards the end. So yeah, you got the team wing calls here. And yeah, so 1,050 kilograms. And 1,450 kilograms. All it says 1.1, 1.5 tons, while it's ran up to the one decimal place. But yeah, for this is some very cheap weights now, so yeah, 700 and 800 pounds respectively. And as I mentioned, with all the extras, even once you include changing the colours of that, you're looking at barely over a grand now. So for the bigger one, configuration is going to be the same on both, so yeah. Slurp reflector, no or yes. And then yeah, for attachment, yes or no, so that's going to give you that little pin hook there. Main colour. That's going to be the actual body of the weight, not the actual weight item itself. The design colour is going to be your side reflector, so... Yeah, no custom colour options for any of these, I don't think. Nope. And then, yeah, that side design colour is going to be for your front attacher. So, yeah, here we are. We've got them up here. So, yeah, got one in standard configuration. The you know, black with the yellow reflectors, as most people would. And then, yeah, something a bit different here, so... Hop into our Massey Ferguson here, so... Actually, I think, you know what, let's go with the front three-point linkage, so... Yeah, I was just not going to drop or anything too much. But yeah, still going to provide traction and grip for when you use it... Or pulling heavy equipment out, or whatever, the trailers out, whatever. But yeah. Raise and to lower. No other options, no lights or anything like that. At the end of the day, it's a very simple train that. But to be fair, it's a trailer that has been well done. Yeah, it's a simple model that. At the end of the day, it does the job it needs to do, and that is the Team Winkle Eco TOP by Budowek Team. Next. Now on to the Lizard JR Vineyard Pack. This is by As Bunker. It is 14.7 megabits of download. And yeah, first of all, this is exactly the same mod he dropped, um, when was it? Yesterday, and I think it was. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Oh, yeah, the 5th of August. So yeah, exact same mod in that. But this is the console version of his PC version, which is the 
You per watch over in your pack. Obviously, we didn't have that as a brand, so hence why we have the Lizard JR finger pack. But anyway, so at the end of the day, what this is, it's a mulcher and a spreader net. So yeah, first of all, you'll find these under for the mulcher net be under mulchers. Go towards the end, and there we go. You'll find that there's a T TF140. 1.4 meter mulcher and that's a miles an hour weighs 420 kilograms required for it to horsepower no custom configuration options or anything like that you'll find this under grape techno technology man i can't speak today but anyway so yeah this is our tr440 4 meter working width work speed of 8 miles an hour obviously accepts herbicide and fertilizer weighs 160 kilograms and has a capacity of 400 litres but this can be extended with using some of our items with the sprayer so base game you get the hardy mega stuff in that or if you got the what was it yeah the hardy sprayer pack in that get these in that with the extra capacities in that but yeah first of all first little look at not too bad not too shabby so yeah, first of all we'll get our mold shirt and that hooked up, so... Obviously we've got our grapes there to the right, ready to harvest. But anyway, so go to our mold shirt. First of all we'll lower it. Actually what, well, I'll do this separate than that, so... Yeah, lower mold shirt, turn on, that is it. So yeah, now we'll hook you back up. And then, yeah, simply get to the edge of your field. All these can be used to mulch normal fields and that. Oh, let me turn on the sprayer and that. There we go. There is mulching. And you can see we are mulching our vines and that. So, yeah, something like this will be fine. And yeah, this will work better in terms of the cutting that. If you're using the selectable widths one version of this so what I mean is there's a modded like vineyard or a modded grape and all the vines that is one I think there's a cheap one but also I think there's one also that can have like you no know, set placement working width or the set placement width of the vines and that sorry to be yep yeah, either shorter or longer than standard basic version which is this is so I think the base game is what, 2 meters or 2.1 meters? Yep, you can get that smaller or bigger than that, depending on how big you want to go. But yeah, so I think that is the mulcher looked at. Yeah, to be fair, it does do wonders now, that, so hop out of here. I like the real life equipment in that, obviously, in gaming that. Even if, say, there's a brand in that. That at the end of the day, I'd rather have a lizard brand of a real life mod or real life not mod. A real life equipment. Man, I cannot speak today. This is what happens when you don't make videos for two weeks, Matt. So we'll see how yeah, I made a video recently, but that will be coming out after this. But anyways. Now on to the spray of that. So yeah, this won't work obviously normally in that with you know crop sites ready to harvest. So i.e. our grapevines. So rather than try doing that and waste our time. But yeah, oh no. Tipped over that. That's going to be on my negative mark on the sprayer net. On sprayer or on the tractor itself. I think it's going to be more of the them kind of tractor I'm using. I didn't have the Ontario Carrero DLC mod, whatever it is, installed in that. So, but yeah, any day it is doing its job. So see, it's spraying that fine mist in that. And yeah, our olive vines are getting fertilized. So, if we go into here, look under precision farming. And yeah, I do not w know why it says there's a field here. When there clearly ain't anymore. There is, was a field in that. But not anymore, so. I think what we'll do is we'll head. Yeah, I think we'll head over here and that. So, obviously, this is where I got up our other mods to be looking at. Including the irrigation system, but. 
see a sort of see clearly of the furrows being put down and actually performing as required. So there you go. See it putting down that application. Ah, uh, yeah. See that little silver? That is us. So yeah, at the end of the day, not too bad of a mod. So yeah, that is the Lizard JR Vigor Pack by Ass Bunker. Crack a bit of kit. You know, getting close up in that. Do love the level of details in that. You know, like the pressure gauges and the wardens and that, the warden labels and that, stickers and that. And yeah, just overall a well designed sprayer that and mulcher and that, to be fair in that. But anyways, we'll head on to our next mod for today. Now for the Crampy Big Body 550E, this is by Patrick or P4TRIK. 25.05 megabytes of download and essentially what it is, it's a crampy branded trader. Capacity varies between 18,000 and 700 litres to 26,000 litres if you got the extension on this. And yeah, you can find this under tools, under traders. Head towards the end. Not the target. So yeah, it starts at 21 and a half grand. Ah yeah, Will Brands got Mission, Treborg, Versailles, BKTs. And it's just going to be different configurations of white tyres and how chunky they are. Like so, Michelin's. No Treborgs on that, so that's good. But yeah, anyway, so design got none. Or ladder platform. Ladder and platform or none. Design got no or yes, so that's going to be for these on the backs of the rear reflectors. Anything down here? Nope. Also, it has a pin hook attacher, so you can not so much do a road train with this, because yeah, look at that, it's a ball pin or ball hook attacher. It does have a pin on the back, so you've got different trades in that. Yeah, you can do that. Didn't mean to leave there. So yeah, ladder and platform. Design, yes or no, we've gone over. And plastic or yes design, so... If we say yes to that, so... Uh, yeah, just a little great there, or a little see-through bit there. In terms of on the back, there is nothing, so yeah, it's just that... It's just you just that little window there, that plastic window, or a metal one, or just simply all covered up in that. But yeah, capacity, standard, or the extension. So yeah, with the extension, that's going to cost you another seven and a half grand. In terms of colours, along with the base game, you've got red, green, black, orange, and then grey, white. Yep, yeah, so. That's great, it's a special colour, the white in that onwards, eight, so yeah. Got bait colour, so that's gonna change the frame in that. Design colour, also just gonna change the body, so let's go with a nice orange. And then that's the rim colour, doesn't change the hub in that, but changes the rims. So yeah, a nice little red. So yeah, I got a unloaded and loaded version. So yeah, the normal one is without lime. And overall, going around, not too bad, not too bad at all. So, obviously, this does have like, the real world weight effect. So, let's hop into our case here. So, this is like our 6 800 horsepower tractor. And you will notice a difference. Again, it depends on what load you're using that. So, first of all, yeah, pause it. No problems whatsoever. Yeah, literally no problems whatsoever. Get on top speed just fine. But now, grabbing on to our extension trailer, which I've loaded up with lime, I think. So yeah, lime is one, if not the heaviest items in FS22. And I am at full power, no cruise control is on. And even with, what was it? Six eight hundred horsepower. For this is see a lot of tractors in that. So yeah, this has got eight hundred and eighty six horsepower. That still takes a little bit to get up and go. In that see so, yeah, it stop. Took a while to stop, and I was even going uphill as well. So 
Yeah, 886 horsepower. It can be a problem for this pulling up the hill nats. But yeah, this is just to demonstrate the effect of the weight nats. Because yeah, the weight does make a huge difference with this. And yeah, barely made it to 25. Even though that was including eating it from detaching it. And we're stuck in that, so it's for ourselves. But yeah, overall, not too bad of a trainer that. At the end of the day, it's a simple trainer, does the job in that. Ball pin or ball hook that to attach. Does have a pin hook on that on the back, so you can do tandem trains of this if you wish. But besides from that, that is it for the Crampy Big Body 550E by Patrick. Next. So, here we are for a bit. I was sort of semi dreading, but yeah, if you look at that, look at the brand. If you put that in English or pronounce it in the English way, it pronounced the F word, i.e., fa and king. But how this is, it's pronounced fa, I think it's fa king king or fa king k or whatever, no, not king k, king, yeah, fa king or something like that. I'm not swearing or anything, please YouTube, do not demonetize this video in that. But anyway, so yeah, this is the Faux King King, that's how I can pronounce it in that, or Faux, Faux King, yeah, that's how I can pronounce it for the rest of this, because I do want to zip up, and I know little bits of swearing is okay on YouTube and that. However, if you start saying it multiple times in a very short period of time, or in the first seven seconds of a video, that's when you can and will get demonetized, but yeah, this is the... Faux King Irrigation Pivot Trainer, this is by Faux King, and along with Server Tech, so this is a little bit of a collaboration. Faux King is a rule of brand, this is b based in South America, I think it's like Brazil, Brazil and that, so they do a bunch of other bits of equipment that in real life, but what we're looking at today is their irrig irrigation system that has been implemented into the game, so as you can see, yeah, Excel that is, yeah, that's Portuguese, like Portuguese, Brazilian, I think that is, by the look of it. But yeah, it comes in as a trailer form. And yeah, you can unfold it and it extends a huge amount. Depending on what version you're going with, like what you're going with in that. So, but anyway, so, first of all, you'll find this under tools and sprayers. So yeah, sprayers and that go towards the end. So yeah, you got your pivot here, so you got your one, two, three, and four links sections. In terms with slot count, it is 14 for the small one, 15 for the two links, and for three and four sections, that is 70 slots on console, and as you can see, goes down to one once you have purchased them. In terms with working with for that, so varies between 126 upwards to 372 meters and yeah so speed and all that is all its thing it pivots around at seven miles an hour capacity of 2000 meters and yeah the weight is very heavy a thousand years of fuel because it needs a motor to be able to you know to function that so let's go with the forwarding section configurations is all exactly the same so yeah got machine hoses yes and no and along with this, you got the rotation duration. That so you got a full rotation in between 10, 20, and 3 minutes. But you can also do three core rotations in 3, 5, 10, 20, and 3 minutes. Along with half rotations in 3, 5, 10, 20, and 3 minutes. And core rotations in those times. And the reason for the times is because. With this, if you have, I think it's automatic engine off and that. It's meant, you're meant to have it off, but if you have it on. Ah, right, yeah, so yeah, just got the correct information before I said anything. But yeah, vehicles will turn off after three minutes if you're over 300 meters away. So, hence why you got these three minute options. So, theoretically, you know, set, you know say this one here. Half rotation at three minutes. And so yeah, don't have to worry about you know messing up or anything like that. So if you're on console and that, if you're on PC, there is disable turn off motion more than that, which prevents engines from being turned off even if you're over 300 meters away after three minutes. Unfortunately, 
this doesn't exist on console, hence why Server X and that has put the three minute option on. So, yeah, you can put this out for three minutes, do whatever you want, have three minutes, come back, see if you send items and that, send crops and that. Yeah, just come back and turn on again to do the other half. But yeah, so I've got the one link and the four link has already been set up, so how this works is you obviously you need a semi trailer that, so a fifth wheel vehicle that. And yeah, so you can see as it unfolds in that. You get this little section over here, so you can refill here and that. Very handy indeed. Now, you know, sort of like a little station in a way. And yeah, because I was 300 meters away. So yeah, engine is on. And yeah. So, turn on. I think I got the right one. Yeah, so yeah, turn on right. And as you can see, we are putting down the fertilizer we're currently putting down. And yeah, also if you look, we're using precision farming. And yeah, has no problem with precision farming. It's putting out all the application rates it's needed. Unfortunately, yeah, I have been over 300 meters away, so it does shut itself off in that. But yeah, you can see it's slowly putting down fertilizer in that. Yeah, it's already gone over that patch, I think, at the moment. Yeah, it's a bit hard to judge in that, so that is north. So, yeah, it's currently over this bit here, so this bit's got no crops in. But, anyways, whilst that is doing its own thing, that will take a while now because I have got that as 10 or 30 minutes to complete. This one I've got, I think it's half rotation at 3 minutes, so. Yeah, so first of all once you got your vehicle set up and that so you can attach and detach this so let's first of all detach said vehicle and that ah wait a minute so it can't do we have to open cover and that I think that's what this is going to be so open cover alright so yep one quick reset later and that, so yeah, what I did was, I accidentally was to be when I was this up, so I accidentally pressed the rotation that, so you do not want to do that, you want to unfold this first of all, so you do that by open cover, so there's a couple of ways you can do it, you can do it with the lorry on, it does look a bit weird, so, but yeah, I will show it in case you do do this, so L1, left on the path for PlayStation, so we'll see it just drops, it unfolds in that, all the hazard lights is coming on, and there we go. So yeah, you've got your fill station there, over there, and yeah, so yeah, now you've got your pivot irrigation system. And technically what you can do, even though it's unfolded, you can still pull it with DeLorean in that, so, or whatever fifth wheel vehicle you're using that, so... Uh, it's one thing to be wary of in that. But yeah, now that uh, got that onto. Ah, wait a minute, so. Let's sort this out a sec, because I meant to have detached this. There we go, so yeah, I've detached it. Moved away. Enter the vehicle, Nat. And yeah, you can fold it if you want, as this way and that, so... There we go, it all folds up. And there it all goes. I absolutely love that animation. But yeah, the glitchiness there with the ground, that's because I think I've got issues with this map and that. I do need to find a new test map and that, but yeah, anyways, it's unfolded. And as you can see... We are rotating, so thankfully with short ones here, you don't really have too much of an issue to judge where you are at. But yeah, I do love this idea of it, so it is what? It is a lot quicker, is it? Right being, what, we're already a minute at? 
But yeah, so three minutes is not a lot. So all these could do the same things, could go around. As long as you're within 300 meters of this, it could shut off. But even though, even still, that is absolute lovely. And that. So yeah, you can design your fields like this. So unfortunately, it's not like with the other irrigation system that we've got on that, so uh, which one is it? So if I go irrigation on the mod hub in that, so yeah, the circular pivot irrigation by spanning mod in that, so with that one it gives you that sort of a area range of where it's going to be placed down and rotate, so if you want to create a field in that, you're going to have to judge it really well. And actually, what's right over here? Any collisions? No, so yeah, even if you leave your equipment out in the field, there is no collisions whatsoever with the pivots here now, with the sprayers over there and that, so... Overall, not too bad, so yeah, we're over halfway done. Not sure, no. Right? No, yeah, we're halfway done, so it's been a minute and a half. But yeah, this is an absolute beauty of a kit and yeah just to show off the fill point so yeah literally pull up even remotely close to this um fence area so can we do it around the site yes you can so yeah 360 fill point that i absolutely love oh yeah so yeah literally just up to here oh yeah as we mentioned 2000 capacity and yeah so yeah are filled so I think that's it for the pivot irrigation system here so overall not too bad a little banger of a mod and yeah finally some more pivot irrigation mods than that so obviously you already had one by Hispanic modding but yeah it's good to have one and this was the fucking or fucking king whatever <laughs> irrigation pivot by Sir Vertex and vote Kink next. That is it for our vehicles and equipment. Now on to our placeable. So first we're looking at the Vamirian Musirian farmhouse. So this is by Betanora Lucasel. 33.61 megabytes download as yeah. Inscription goes as following. Post-German house from the early 20th century, located in northern Poland. It is 65 grand to purchase, 22 to upkeep. And that in terms with slot counts, that it is 14 and 16 slots respectively. So it is 14 slots for the plastered house and for the brick and mortar, which I love in that. That is 16 slots. So over here, we've got your wardrobe, seat trigger in that. But yeah, apart from that, nice looking building that. Do like the detail in it, especially the brick and mortar one. But yeah, even the plaster one, like the textures and that, like the weathering and that. That is absolute nice. So yeah, first of all, you'll find this under build mode. So yeah, under build mode, building and houses. Go towards the end, 65 grand. And yeah, 14 and 16 slots respectively goes down to one. No color changes or anything like that. And yeah, they farm is a German farmhouse and that. But yeah, but at least you got your seat trigger as well as your wardrobe trigger and that. Don't really see that too often that with the wardrobe tr trigger not being there. But anyway, so yeah, that is the Vibrian Bersarian house by Betanoa Lucas. Next. Now for the metal garage or workshop. This is by ICAS 7.72 megabits to download. It is 60 grand for the metal shed. I you want the metal shed with the workshop and that, that goes to 8 grand. Slot counts are 10 and 20 slots. So 10 slots for the garage. 20 slots, so if you want the workshop and that. These are pretty much exactly the same. So yeah, you've got your two bays here and that. Or for two large bays and a small bay. And your entrance bay and that. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, four bays. So you have two large bays, a medium and a small bay. I was about to say that, so yeah. First of all, actually before we go in and have a little look, so yeah. You'll find this under build mode, under sheds. So yeah, got your metal garage here and that, so... As you see, we do have colour options, so... 
I think it's like 21 different color options in that. No, oh, sorry, 34 color options. So yeah, various little shades of that. So you got like blues in that, beiges in that, blacks. I think yeah, even like, just, like different colors that you don't often see in that. You know, I call it like dark burgundy, or sorry, dark brownish red color in that. But yeah, absolute a plethora of color schemes in that. Lime greens in that. Absolute love those. And yeah, also, before I skip over it, for the workshop and that, you'll find this under tools. And there we go, so yeah, got the workshop kind of like icon on that, so yeah, that's to tell the difference. And yeah, same game, same color options and that. 60 grand for the garage, 80 grand for if you want the workshop and that, so. Go into here and that. Decent size and that. And there you got your base and that. Love the doors and that. But yeah, so yeah, workshop error is going to be here and that. Workshop trigger. And then yeah, also you yeah, got your gates, or not gates and that, rolling doors and that on the sides. And in terms of your lights, that's going to be located over here, I think it was. Ah, there we go. So yeah, this one here, so lights on, lights off. And that is bright. So you even turn the torch off in that. That is some bright LED like light in that. Which you kind of expect in the modern workshop in that. And if you want, you can link these together, I think. So may not look the best in that, but yeah, if we go into our sheds and that. So we get the sheds one put down. Keep snapping on. And there we go. So yeah, collisions, collisions. Alright, so you can go quite close together in that. But yeah, just with a little bit of free mode in that, you know. So there we go. Got that whacked down. So yeah, have a look. So yeah. That is obviously the one with the workshop. Now let's look at the metal shed. So, what's the difference? Yep, yeah, simple. No workshop error in that. So, works perfectly well as a shed. And you know, no weird clippings in that. And yeah, you can make these like drive through ball in that, in the way, but you don't have to be a bit awkward in that. Again, this is just me being creative in that. Maybe this wasn't the model's intention by iCast in that. Can you enter? Ooh. Seems I can't enter through the door in that. Oh no, right. Bit of a tight fit in that. But yeah, once you got the bay open in that, so there's nothing to say, you know, have your link bays in that. And yeah, the roof in that, that's all perfectly well closed together in that. And yeah, it does have lights on the outside. So yeah, do they come on? Yeah, they come on automatically at night. But yeah, overall, not too bad in that. And yeah, this is the Metal Garage or Workshop by ICAS. Cracking ball in that. Def one I recommend. Next, let's move on to our final mod of the day. So, here we are. We're at the Silver Farms Lizard. This is by Mech Mods. 18.95 megabytes to download. Slot count is 7 slots for all buildings in that. And there is 6 different buildings you can have. Big, medium and small. With a left and sort of with one rotation and then a flip version of that. But yeah, first of all, before I even go into the details of it, the rolling doors and that parking space and that, the turbine winds and that. This is a proper little farm and that. And yeah, this is how I always got it sacked up and that. Got a bit of grass versions in that, so yeah, that is based on how I put it down in that. So yeah, I was trying to get these as close as possible together without clipping, and obviously I left a person with gap in that. But you get the idea behind it. And so I can say you know you can have a massive row of these that going along. But anyway, so yeah, we first of all find this under productions, under generator. So yep. Yeah. For your small ones and that, so yeah, that is 95 grand to purchase with a monthly income of 15,000. So 
You can make your money back within what's that? 30, 60, 90, 9 months and that, you can make your money back. So yeah, that is the large one. Got some, no, sorry, that's the medium one. The large ones is here and that, so do apologize to get mixed up. And then yeah, got your small ones here and that, so... Small one here. All these are going to be exactly the same. The only difference is the amount of officer panels and all that other good stuff that you've got. But yeah, so that is the small one. Medium one, we'll have a look. So exactly the same, just bigger. With a cost of 205000 with a monthly income of 58000 So you can make your money back in that in four months and that. Now yeah, all these again exactly the same. It's just the flip versions of it. So if you want to create a, you know, like a massive solar farm in that, you can. And then for your large one, which is 355 grand to put down. As I mentioned, all these are some slots goes down to one each. 126 grand a month, so that is three months and you get your money back. So the big the more you invest, the more you make your money back quicker. So three, four or five, I think I said on this. Yeah, four months. And then for this one it's what, eight months, nine months? Yeah, eight months or so. So yeah, go big or go home. Go make your money back in no time. You know, just take out a cheeky bank loan. But yeah, so yeah, the camera that went places it ain't the best on it. But what you can do is something something like that. Get the flip version. Rotate the camera around. And then yeah, try to be a bit finicky in that. And there we go. Obviously, yeah, it has that effect of not proper terraforming the terrain as correct if you do free place it. But again, with a bit of landscaping work and that, that can be easily managed in that. So overall, I am not worried at all. Again, just try to get it lined up. There we go, something like that. So, you know, you got your mobile car parks and that, drive through and that. And yeah, just the imagination that can go wild with this. That. So, yeah, feel free to use imaginations. But yeah, so this is the big one here, just like that, the small one. I think just double checking. Yeah, that is the big one. So yeah, you got all the solar panels of that. And yeah, you can walk under if you wish. I do love the like the X and that on the Ah right, so that is sections of fences you can remove. <coughs> yeah, I was like I was wondering first of all, yeah, why the X's are here, so it can't be done from the outside, it can only be done from the inside, so no, remove the fence sections and that. And yeah, also just look at the mod description. I make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, it says charge speed on charge stations. Depends on the power of the solar farm. Solar farms visually can be combined into modules for these. Are linked to the coordinates to the grid 0.5 meters with a rotation of 15 degrees. So actually, let's try that. So if I get our bearings, so we'll go to 360 degrees or zero. So yeah, it says grid of 0.5 meters. So yeah, can't really do 0.5 meters. So now we're going to go by one meter. So but yeah, again, productions generators and that. Because yeah, I want to have a little test of this. So place that down, and then yeah, I think what these are what two. Three, four, five, six. Six times forty four forty five by six. Yeah, that can't be unless it's what free placement? Or unless it is a snap to that. Ah no no. I see it, I see it. So yeah, but I don't have free mode on. But yeah, if you want, you can do like a circle of these and that, so get the fences aligned up like so. 
Ah, wait a minute, let's see how this goes with the turns with Link in these, so... Obviously, yeah, you get the sort of overlap a little bit, maybe, with the fences, if I've done it right. So, yeah, you can sort of see it's very close to that. But, yeah, once again, you can remove the rear fences, so... You make it look a bit, bit more looser than that, and... You know, like, with this like, area over here and that, with, like, the charging station and all that, so... You can charge your electric vehicles if you want as well, so... What I'll do is something like this, so... Thinking... Get the correct concrete in that, first of all. No, the dark concrete, please. Or asphalt. Yep. No, that's not asphalt. No asphalt. Close enough, but yeah. You know, just blend that together. And then, yeah, just go bit bam bit boom Obviously, not the correct landscape color or whatever I've used to paint it at all. But yeah, you sort of get the idea of it, you know, because they can these together. I do a massive, you know, semi-circle or a full circle if you wish. But that is absolute unique, that is. That is, yeah, I'll say unique now, because yeah, at the end of the day, it's a form of game money from Southern Nat. But the level of detail and all that that's gone into this is definitely a thing of another level than that. Again, the wines and that. Oh yeah, also, yeah, you can remove the security house and that, so... You can go proper crazy with this, and again... Actually, is there any other ones you can remove that? So yeah, security house, yep, yeah, can remove that. Can't remove defences. Oh yeah, also, yeah, got the hazard mark here and that for that. But yeah, I think it's just your rear fences. And these side ones you can remove in that, so if I go remove those, like all you're left with is actually the entrance to that, and that's it. And to be fair, that looks not too bad at all, I'll say. Yeah, again, definitely get creative with this, you can. But, anyways, enough waffling on that. That is the Silver Farms Lizard by Mech Mods. And that is it for all the mods on the 6th of April, or 6th of August, 2024, but let's say April 1, no idea. But I'm going to leave that blueprint, heck it. But anyways, as always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, fill the down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel, please consider. But for those to do, hope you nice day. But for now, this is me for Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all a very soon.